Hello students, in this video we'll see how to use convexity to find arbitrage opportunities for options. Let's consider a collection of three options. And these options are going to be American call options. So we have options with strike prices and premiums. So we'll have option A, option B, option C, and the strike will be 10, 20, and 30. The premiums will be 10, 4, and 2. So we know that the American call option is a convex function of its strike price, so we know by convexity Convexity implies that the premium differential, 4 minus 5, over the strike dif differential, 20 minus 10, is less than or equal to 2 minus 4 over 30 minus 10, which tells me that negative 1 tenth is less than or equal to negative 2 over 10, or negative 1 fifth. But we know that negative one-fifth is less than one-tenth. So this is a violation. This violates convexity. And what this tells us is this tells us automatically by the fact that the convex function works in this form is that the option B is overpriced. So since option B is overpriced, we can find arbitrage by the following. Let's construct a portfolio of selling one option B and purchasing x of option A and y of option B. Then at time 0, we have the following profit. The profit we have, we have sold one option B, so we have the premium of 4, and we have purchased option A and option B, so I'll have option A, which costs 5, so I'll have a minus 5x, and I'll have Y of option C, that'll be option C, that'll be option C, and option C, which will be negative 2Y, and I need this to be bigger than or equal to zero. That's the first condition we have. Now, if the stock price is less than or equal to 10, nothing pays. And our profit remains the same. If S0 is in the interval between 10 and 20, then our profit will increase because we have, we bought the option A and option A can now be exercised to make a profit, right? So we will get a profit from option A. And the profit that we'll get is X and then S minus 10. If S is between 20 and 30. The absolute worst case scenario is if S is 30. And what we'll need to construct an arbitrage is our profit in this situation is going to be, well, I will have X times 30 minus 10. That's the profit we get from our call option A. I will suffer a loss of the difference in the option B in that, which is 10. 
and then I will have in my initial gain, which is 4 minus 5x minus 2y, I will need this expression over here to be bigger than or equal to 0 in order for arbitrage to occur. So I still have to choose x and y. And finally, if s is larger than 30, then the profit is the following. Then we will look at all of the call options. We will have x times s minus 10 minus s minus 20 and then plus y times s minus 30 and I want this to be bigger than or equal to 0. We can see that this expression over here is going to be bigger than or equal to 0. So what we'll see is I can write this expression over here as x plus y minus 1 times s is bigger than or equal to 0, I will have a 40 minus 20, so I'll have a 20 over here. So since the stock price is arbitrarily large, we'll see that we need x plus y to be bigger than or equal to 1. So I have this linear inequality for x and y. I have this linear inequality for x and y, and this linear inequality for x and y. So as long as these three linear inequalities are satisfied, I will have a situation where I can construct a portfolio which will automatically generate me a profit and therefore I'll have an arbitrage situation. So again, convexity can be used coupled with three linear inequalities to find values of x and y for which you can construct a portfolio which creates an arbitrage opportunity. Thank you very much.